like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe on the way in the door, my people. I hope you all are having a truly, truly fantastic day today on this Friday. And it is Fanboy Friday. Uh, fanboys, I would say I hope your day is going terrible, but I feel like I know that your day is going terrible. <laughs> I, I don't have to hope. I know that after last night's game, you guys cannot be having a great day today. I'm sure you're having a deal with the imminent uh, feeling that sweep is inevitable for your king. And, and we are all glad to witness it. Uh, Nick Wright. <laughs> Nick Wright, you, you got what you wanted. You, you, want, you thought that the Lakers should play Denver first. And you got what you want. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so as we all know, the Lakers go down 3-0 to the Nuggets in last night's game. And, you know, I, I made my prediction video before the game actually took place. I gave my reasons why. And that is because, like I said, I thought that the game two – uh, delivered a blow that the Lakers could not recover from. The way in which they lost that game, the way in which Jamal Murray snatched their hearts from their chest, I didn't think they could recover from. I thought they were in their feelings, as evident by the way they conducted themselves in the post-game interviews. Again, LeBron James couldn't help himself but to start talking about replay center and Anthony Davis storms off. You know, I was just like, oh, they, you know, they, these guys are too emotional. Like, they're they're emotional divas, and they're not going to recover from this. And, and it proved to be the case. And so, you know, fanboys, uh, get, get your brooms ready. Uh, maybe get your mops ready. <laughs> get your mops ready. This is more than just sweeping up the dirt. This is actually... Uh, putting the high gloss finish on the Lakers. Um, but yeah, so let, let's talk about it. So I actually didn't really watch the game in, in its entirety. I kind of just checked back and forth, you know, from quarter to quarter to see what was going on. Uh, of course, the Lakers started out leading. I figured they would. Uh, but like I said, due to the leadership, the team concept of the Denver Nuggets, I felt like they would weather that storm, and they did. But so already after the game, you know, last night, I was going to make this video last night, but I figured I would wait to Fanboy Friday. No better day than to talk about the demise of the Lakers than on Fanboy Friday. But, yeah, so already um, I'm hearing about d and how he didn't play well and Austin Reeves and Darvin Ham, you know, stuff we expect to hear when the Lakers lose. Um, it's definitely somebody else's fault. And while these things are true, d <laughs> had zero points. d didn't play well, you know, Austin Reeves could have could have played a little better. These, these things are true. But here's the question for you fanboys. Here is the question for you fanboys on Fanboy Friday. Why didn't LeBron James make them better? D'Lo seems to not just, he just is not consistent. But I thought LeBron James made his teammates better. I, I thought this was like one of the things about your king that gets discussed all the time. It's LeBron James makes his teammates better. High IQ, pass first player, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But he couldn't seem to do that last night. I thought LeBron James was clutch, according to you fanboys. But he hasn't demonstrated that in this series. And at the end of the day, 
The reason why I knew the Lakers were going to lose is simply mentality. You know, the thing that you fanboys like to dismiss. You know, the thing that when people talk about Michael Jordan's killer mentality, you fanboys don't want to acknowledge its, its importance because you can't quantify it with a number. Well, let me give you a number. <laughs> Michael Jordan's killer instinct is on 10 and LeBron James is on two. <laughs> killer instinct is so important. And what we don't see for the, from the Lakers is just like, where is your competitiveness? Where is your pride? Where is your like, stand up for yourself? I'm not going to take this. LeBron James, where is your proof that you are the GOAT? Where is it? You, I mean, just again, in the Lakers' body language, it was clear who was going to win the game. Once Denver started uh, making a comeback because the Lakers started off winning, you could just look at the body language. Again, I didn't have to watch the whole game. I saw where it was headed. I knew where it was headed. Again, because of the mentality. LeBron James' mentality is the reason he has six finals losses. It's the reason why he spends more time complaining to the refs than he does getting back on defense. And the Lakers do that as a whole. You know, I was watching the Darvin Ham post interview and he, you know, keeps talking about this, you know, just having a next play mentality. <laughs> and I feel like I, I really haven't heard that from a coach before. You know, I mean, I, I understand what he's saying, but I feel like the way he... He constantly talks about this. And honestly, I feel like, you know, it's a result of LeBron James mentality that has fed through the team of complaining after every play that you have to say, hey, man, stop complaining. The, the next play is happening right now. Like the, the split second that you take to complain about what you think you didn't get, or, you know, what you think you deserve. Denver's back down the court. And, th and this is what we're saying. Like, there's just this complete lack of pride and lack of, you know, killer mentality. Like, lack of competitiveness. Again, this goes back to LeBron James and the shortcuts. His, his, because LeBron James has stacked the deck in his favor, th this is what he expects. This is what he feels he's entitled to. And he hasn't learned to actually compete for what he wants. I mean, I don't know how many times we got to say this to you fanboys. Yeah, this is directed at you fanboys today. Uh, yeah, because you, you guys are ridiculous. You guys are representation of your king. Just like your king is an emotional wreck, so are you guys. Like, you get in my comments, like, to call someone a hater with no uh, rebuttal to the points I make, that's, that's just your emotions. Just like your king. Again, you guys are representative of your king in every way. You guys are representative of your king in every way. The weakness. <laughs> the entitlement. You guys represent that. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, th this video is, is really just to, you know, kind of rub it in you guys' face. Uh, but trust and believe, if the Lakers don't find a way to win the next game and not get swept, which, are like I, like I already said, I think the Lakers are getting swept. They don't have the mental makeup to do this. LeBron James, not only does he look old and tired, but couple that with he's just a weak-minded individual. I, I don't see them uh, winning this next game, but who knows? But if they don't win this next game, if they don't find the pride and the competitive spirit to dig in and win this next game, fanboys, let me tell you, you're going to want to stay off my, <laughs> off my channel. You, you're just going to want to stay away. It, it's, it's not going to be good news for you over here. But anyway, <laughs> we gonna hold up here. Uh, yeah, I, I just was kind of, you know, expressing 
how I felt about this this whole three and O thing now. Like I said, I was gonna do it last night, but I figured, hey, it's Fanboy Friday, and you know, what better way to kick it off? But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Did any of you actually watch the game? Uh, did you watch the highlights? Uh, what do you think? Who's whose fault <laughs> is it that the Lakers lost? Do do you feel like uh, you know, the players D'Lo and and Austin Reeves could have stepped definitely D'Lo. I mean, he has zero points. But again, my point is, I thought LeBron James made his teammates better. But uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You all have a truly, truly fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. All right.